The lightweight class has had three different winners over the past four days. It really is anyone's rally. Second place overnight, Seth Quintero has had his Dakar fall apart as a gearbox failure struck him in the stage. After winning stage six, it's a cruel blow. Yeah, that is the end of our our Dakar experience for now. Uh, maybe we get to restart tomorrow, we're not too sure yet, just because of the situation we're in. It's going to be a long trip home. Chris Meek had a superb run in the early part of the stage, but then it caught up with him because he broke a hub. At least a teammate came along to help, but they didn't have the part. So then they had a great view from up on high. Leading overall two days ago, Aaron Domzala has had a bad run over the stages yesterday and today to lose 30 and then around 20 minutes today. He's still in with a shout of this rally with the madness that's unfolded of late. Towards the end of the stage around Neom, it's Chileco Lopez who heads it and looks to snatch the overall lead back into his hands in a huge turnaround in the lightweight class. Inside the top five around Neon, but not quite able to keep to the pace of the leaders was Mikhail Goxal, but it still enables him to be within a great shout at the finish. Keyes Kulin and Jürgen van der Gerberg are just outside the top ten, but Keyes is already looking into the future because he's an electric power specialist. Might they be an electric car soon on the Dakar? Austin Jones has a whole Baja 1000 to go in this rally. He started the day nine minutes up, but lost a load of time mid-stage. He's still on course to be slotting into second overall, though, only a handful of seconds off the lead that he had last night.